Hey everyone, welcome back to another round of product releases for this June. We have a lot in store for you, as usual, and a bit more detail on our reporting module with our new business intelligence center. So stick around and watch the end for that one. So to run you through what we have this release, we have enhanced APIs, but more on that later. Auto publish, meaning zero touch approvals, automatically exporting your documents into your accounting software. Um, bulk actions, select items in bulk, and you can action things like bulk delete, add to inventory all at once. Save CSVs, so you can save your mapping preferences, which columns you want, and this will apply to suppliers, POs, and GRNs, so it'll save your template and make it a lot faster for you to upload next time. Upload five times more, so we previously allowed you to upload 10 documents at any given time. You can now see that's extended to 50. PO enhancements include PO line item reporting. And on the theme of reporting, we've also introduced Sage Intact Dimensions as well to give you more granular reporting from your accounting software. So let's jump in. We're really excited to share that we're on a project to enhance our API platforms with our accounting software partners. What this means for you is a deeper integration, making Lightyear better and more secure. As you can see, we'll bring back more of your supplier details from your accounting software, such as your default GLs, default tax rates, and bank details. First off the rank, we have our zero users being migrated in batches, so if you aren't on it yet, you will be very soon, and all of our other software partners will be a fast follow in the coming months. With the new enhanced integrations, you'll have access to auto publish. This is essentially zero touch approvals. By activating this setting, you'll bypass the need for approvals and it will automatically publish your bills and credit notes to your accounting software even faster. We'll then store your bills in the archive as usual. You can now bulk more actions in your approvals workflow. This includes bulk return to processing, bulk return to the previous tab, bulk add to inventory, bulk delete, you can even sign off and export. Speeding up your whole workflow, you can get started with bulk actions today. This next one is a great time saver for anyone who needs to upload suppliers, purchase orders, or goods received notices. Lightyear will now allow you to save a template, simply map out your fields like you normally would, give it a name, and you can create a template. So in future, you can simply select your template and it will pre-populate all these fields pre-mapped for you, so you can say goodbye to this tedious task. We've now expanded our upload functionality to give you five times more efficiencies. Previously, you were only able to upload 10 documents at a time, whereas now you can upload 50. Less is more. Less batches for more documents uploaded in record time. So if you've got these all mapped, you'll see these now start to come through and drop straight into your approvals tab. Ready for processing. Here we have PO line item reporting to give you more visibility whether it's on spend delivery open close status reporting you can now get line item detail and export that information into csv head over to the archive and you'll notice this export lines button so one click and you can get all of this information in csv format so you can open it up in excel and you can customize things further here's one i prepared earlier where you can see all your line item information. So all these line item detail for one purchase order. And if I swing across, you'll be able to see all my pricing, my goods received status, any goods received or matched, where my documents actually sit in the PO process and what documents are open, closed or partially open, etc. So all that, your fingertips. 
So it's time to get excited because this is only the beginning as a sneak peek into what we have coming for advanced reporting. And finally, for those on Sage Intact with our recent partnership, we've now brought in the ability to import dimensions. This will allow for more automation from the coding perspective, which will give you even more granular reporting. Set these up under your accounting C software settings, select two. You'll see these appear down the bottom and you can import to bring them all back in. And that's it. It's as easy as that. And finally, let's take a look at what comes next. We have group line data, which already exists, but we're actually bringing this as an ability to set this at a supply level. Uh, copying conditional approvals. So you could set that at a global setting. You could set that at a supplier level, uh, but setting up at a supplier level, you can now copy those rules across multiple suppliers. Um, defining PO suppliers. So you can control the list of uh, suppliers that you're purchasing from and notification enhancements with bulk action statuses and permissions set by admins on behalf of users as well. And uh, we also have our business intelligence bonanza. So a lot of this will include a whole new look and feel for the archive. We're introducing more tabs, um, enhanced search options. So you've got more detailed granular reporting, line item level reporting, which has always been a big ask. Because we've got all that information, we can now serve it to you in CSV. Templated reports, so canned reports you can select from that will just automatically pre-run. Um, creating your own custom reports. You can create and update your own reports, save them, star them, uh, so quick and easy access. And then anything else you need from a reporting perspective, you can export your information into CSV. Essentially no limits there. And get your data to do more fancy work. So that's what we have coming in our report section. Don't forget to join us for one of our webinars, register, and if you have any questions, feedback, or insights you want to share with us, uh, make sure you reach out to us on the team at support at lightyearap.com. Thanks until next time. Bye.